cool kids today I have some fan art for you and this is actually done in a somewhat timely manner like I know generally with the fan art I do it's for things that came out like anywhere from a couple months to several several years ago but I believe this movie is still in theaters it's at least in, still in my local theater so you know that's cool um originally this week you were gonna get a sketchbook tour but I'm super duper busy next week so it made more sense to do the sketchbook tour next week when I can just do something quick and do something a little more complicated this week plus I just went to go see Fantastic Beasts and it's such a good movie like I genuinely really liked it I am doing Credence and here you can see me doing the color key which I'm actually really glad I did for this piece I almost didn't do one but originally I had this plan to make her in very blue and purple which would have been cool if I sort of did in the shading but I didn't like the look of him having a bluish skin tone so I decided to go in with like a normal actually human skin tone um, but yeah, anyways, I really liked Fantastic Beasts. I know a lot of big, like, serious Harry Potter fans weren't as big of a fan of it. I guess it didn't really fit in with their expectations, but I know very little about the extended Harry Potter universe, and I knew nothing going into this movie, so it was just, everything was just a pleasant surprise. I enjoyed it, and Ezra Miller was in it, and I really like Ezra Miller, which is part of why this fan art came out, because I just wanted an excuse to draw his face, you know. Um, yeah, I wanted to go for a cooler coloring scheme. Originally, sort of spoilery, but originally I was going to have the Obscurus be a part of this image, but I could not find any good references of it. But that's kind of why some of the things that are in this piece are in this piece. I don't want to talk too much about it, because again, I don't want to spoil the movie. It just came out. But yeah, I couldn't find any images of the Obscurus. So yeah, I gave him black eyes, again, to go in with the whole Obscurus thing, but... Now he just sort of has black eyes and he kind of, kind of looks like a cross between Ezra Miller as Credence and the outsider from the Honored Games, which wasn't intentional, but you know, whatever. Um, I went for a very messy line art with this piece just because I wasn't really sure if I was even going to keep the line art. I kind of wanted it to have that messy look to it, but then eventually I go over and I actually paint over the line art, which is something... I've wanted to try doing with my art for a while like whenever I do a big piece I always tell myself I'm gonna like merge line art and paint over it and make it look all nice and smooth but then I never do so with this piece I figured since line art was so messy and since it was a very simple piece it would be a good piece to like practice it on plus I had so much fun doing the garnet piece last week that I want to like focus on more of a painterly style rather than the more heavily line art reliant style I have going on um I don't know if it necessarily looks like Ezra Miller, like again I was looking at a lot of references, you can see my reference page over there. I was worried about it looking too much like that one reference I have of him in the middle of him just sort of looking sad and downtrodden and I didn't want it to look exactly like that but I also wanted it to look like him so that was a struggle. I'm trying to get better at drawing from reference, especially with real people, partially because I have a Christmas present planned for someone, which I'm not going to talk too much about because they might watch this video, but it involves painting a realistic person, and I figured I would use this as a uh, grounds to practice that. Um, here I'm doing his eyebrows, and I think this is the part where I messed up the most because the haircut he has is a very high haircut, so his bangs are super high up, and so he has a lot of forehead going on, and I did have that in the initial sketch, but then I did his eyebrows like super high up to sort of get that super expressive look going on in his face, and because of that you lose a lot of like the super dramatic forehead, so he just sort of has a normal forehead. Yeah, here I'm going in with some darker shading. I wasn't sure how intense I wanted to go with the shading. All of the references I had of him had him with a very warm lighting going on, but again, I wanted the cool lighting to fit in with like the sort of dark, gloomy look I was trying to go with for the piece. And here I'm messing around with the background, and I couldn't figure out how to make the background good. Like, I, again, there was the whole problem with not being able to find a reference of the Obscurus, but I also feel like the piece in total, um, I just framed it really poorly. Like, he's far too low on the piece. I wish I'd moved him up higher. There was supposed to be more going on above him, but it was just more of a patterny look. Eventually, I put in those little pamphlets his mom has in the piece, which I think sort of helped bring it together, but I don't know. I do overall like this piece, and I hope you do too. I believe that's all I have to say, so I'm just going to let the music play out. Uh, thanks for watching, and hope to see you next time. Bye!